Hi, I'm Robin Easton, and today's a really exciting day for me because <laughs> my first book, Naked in Eden, is being released today. It's in the stores and on Amazon. You can find it in Borders and wherever books are sold, online, offline. And it's been a long journey. It's been... I remember 13 years ago, I started writing. Well, I'd been writing when I came out of the rainforest, not to write a book, but just to, oh, to, I had experienced so much that writing was a way that I could continue not only to feel what I had experienced, but to begin to um, process it and also to stay connected to it. I would start writing and I would drop right back into the rainforest. And I had been grieving in many ways being back out here in society. I I, I had a lot of years of adjust, adjustment to go through. And so I wrote and I wrote and I wrote until one day my husband said, how much of this writing do you have? And I showed him this stack. It was like over, I mean, I had over a thousand pages. There could have been 2,000 pages of writing. And he said, I think you've got three books there. <laughs> and so Naked in Eden is the first of my books. Here it is, Naked in Eden, My Adventure and Awakening in the Australian Rainforest. Okay, here is a little adventurous encounter I had. I'll only share part of it. <laughs> I pulled my frayed denim shorts down around my thighs and squatted barefoot to pee. Oh man, the simple pleasures people miss. Warm urine pooled around my toes and warm air caressed my bare arms and legs. Suddenly out of the corner of my eye I saw something. A six-foot red-bellied black snake raced toward my feet and the urine streaming from between my legs. I gasped, pulled back. Startled, the snake rose to strike position. Twelve inches from my face, with head and neck flattened, he lashed out three times in false strike within inches from my nose. I froze, head to head, eye to eye. I didn't dare breathe. And you shall see what happens in that story. <laughs> now on to the next. One morning I decided to walk deeper into the forest. I hiked a long ways up the hill behind our campsite and stopped to rest. The concentration of life in the rainforest is staggering. Everywhere life stacked upon more life. Clinging orchids, feathery tree ferns, climbing lawyer vines, delicate creeping plants with green crinkled leaves, life shooting straight for the heavens. I closed my eyes for several minutes and tried to imagine that I'd been born blind, that I'd lived in darkness and suddenly science found a way to heal my eyes and allow me to see. Then when they unwrapped the bandages, the rainforest in front of me was the first thing I saw. As I slowly removed my hands from the front of my face and opened my eyes, brilliant green jumped from its source and shot through my body. It was alive and vibrated every cell in my being. Massive brown tree trunks sprang from the earth and surged skyward with magnificent power, arms raised to praise the stars. Maybe I hadn't just left Maine. Maybe somewhere along the road I died and passed into another time, a forgotten world of exquisite peace, a world in love with itself. Until next time, bye-bye and thank you. I can hardly believe it! Me! A book! In the bookstores! Oops, wait. <laughs> I'm using it the wrong way.